Hello, Pastor Don here on a Monday morning. I have uh, been away for some time, had a little hospitalization and some illness, um, but I'm back at it and uh, hopefully we can continue this now on a, a regular basis. I've missed doing it and I know uh, you have missed having it as part of your day too. So today what I wanna do is um, read something that is what I oftentimes describe for uh, people who are uh, can, contemplating joining our church, the Lutheran Church, uh, is how do you describe our faith? What is the, the basic definition of it? What is the simplest way to convey to somebody what uh, the Lutheran faith is all about? And not just the Lutheran faith, but uh, many uh, Protestant denominations. And that is grace, the simple word grace. Uh, what does the simple word grace mean? Well, the definition that, that I like best is that it is the uh, undivided, simple, unconditional love of God. The unconditional love of God, that's grace. And unconditional is a very big word. It means that there are no exceptions, that there's nobody outside of God's grace. Today I want to read to you from Ephesians in the second chapter, verses 4 through 10. This comes out of the New Revised Standard Version. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Jesus Christ. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before to be our way of life. Well, you know, there's uh, <clears throat> something that we oftentimes speak of in the church, uh, and it's called works righteousness. And that's the notion that we can uh, stock up good deeds and pile up our worthiness in heaven by the good things that we do. But um, this passage that I just read out of Ephesians was, uh, pivotal for uh, Martin Luther as he was studying to become a priest. He uh, was a pretty uh, depressed and dejected person. Didn't think he was worthy to become a priest. And he came across this passage that basically says that um, we are made worthy, we are sanctified by grace through faith apart from works. In other words, there's nothing we can do to earn favor with God that Christ's death on the cross was that ultimate payment for our sin. It is the unconditional love of God. And so for those of us who uh, have lived in grace and recognize the tremendous gift that it is, we know that we have been made free. We have been set free from sin because of God's grace. And that we have a new life we have the guarantee of a new life in Christ for eternity, and we know that we have the security of knowing that God is with us at all times. So, um, as you contemplate this word grace and reflect on just how great a gift it is, no matter what the problems that, that you might be facing today, there's no greater gift than God's unconditional love for you. So I hope this uh, helps you to place your problems in perspective and, and focuses you on something that is uh, something that is very difficult for us to explain. How, how is it that God can love us unconditionally? Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you that you have extended your grace, your unconditional love to us through Jesus Christ. While we're not worthy, we can't earn it, it's also reassuring to know that we can't lose it because Christ's death on the cross was the ultimate payment for our sins. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you that this day we can be assured that you are with us, that you love us unconditionally. No matter how we may uh, make errors, how many times we might sin, that you have an unconditional love that knows no bounds, an extraordinary patience with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, today we want to lift up to you those who are uh, suffering from wildfires in the western part of the United States and the extraordinary drought that is uh, almost unprecedented in its gravity. We pray, Lord, for rain. We pray, Lord, for relief from heat. And we pray, Lord, for all of those who are uh, suffering from uh, losses as a result of natural disasters. We pray, Lord, that we might be able to assist in some way. If prayer is what we can do, then help us to do that. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. Thank you for the opportunities that you put before us, and thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Good to be back with you this morning, and uh, again, welcome to those of you who uh, may be finding this for the first time on our website or on Facebook or, or YouTube. Uh, this is intended to just uh, give us a little kickstart for the day, some positive way to think about uh, everything that lies before us. So until we meet again tomorrow on Tuesday, this is Pastor Don saying God bless.